Welcome back, guys, for more Going Medieval. Uh, do I need to say that you can get it on my official game store? I don't, I don't think I need to say that, do I? No. Okay, fine. Um, right. I have been working on efficiency. Uh, everybody's just got up. They're all having uh, breakfast and doing all that kind of stuff. Good. They'll be going to do a bit of praying. There's Amber. Okay. So what have I done? Well, I've completely reworked the workshop. And the workshop, I think, is now a thing of beauty. Over here, we've got the uh, the sewing station. So I've moved that over a little bit. The uh, the woodwork bench, I've moved from here over to here. So they've each got an area. Uh, each of these desks has got an area around them where they can um, just drop whatever it is that they produce. So this is set up for bows. Uh, this is, what is this set up? This is set up for, oh, apparel. Any clothes that they make at the sewing station. Over here, we've got shelves for, uh, this is for linen cloth. This is for woolen cloth. Woolen cloth, you can't produce woolen cloth. It hasn't been implemented yet. Um, I'm guessing that's going to come along when they introduced um, animal husbandry. And I'm guessing that you'll have, I don't know, sheep or something, uh, which will produce wool. But if you disassemble uh, woolen clothes, you will get wool or, or woolen fabric. And this shelf is set up for, uh, for woolen cloth. Hooray. And then this is set up for leather. So the sewing desk got all their materials right by them over here uh we're making the limestone blocks we've got a pile of limestone there already explained this one we've got um, we've got some nice wood sitting there ready to be used by the woodworkers uh over here this is where we store our apparel now there is a an item that i will be using but i haven't researched it yet here uh, where is it it's in furniture two here we go and it's this thing the armor rack i can't wait to get that because they look awesome but for now it's just on that pile and then over here, we've got uh, leather for the armorer. We've got um, nice weapon racks over here, over here. Yeah, it's, um, I, I, I absolutely love it. It's awesome. Actually, look, those are the armor racks. They've, um, they've obviously used them as part of this desk, but those are the armor racks. And we're going to be having those in here. We'll have them, uh, probably I'll put one in each of the bedrooms and stuff. So right so that's that uh what else have i done i've made sure that they've all got like piles of um piles of sticks and well uh, oh this now this this is where we're going to store the sticks so i want to get rid of everything off this stockpile really so over here uh let's get rid of that because this building isn't being used so i thought let's get rid of that and we'll put wood we'll use this as a woodshed so we'll put the wood in there okay uh there's lots of stuff to get moved around so I thought you, you might like to see that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the jobs for almost everybody to prioritize hauling. Uh, Sky, I still want doing the growing and the same for Susie. Uh, but everybody else can be priority one hauling. And we're going to get everything done. This should be good. So hopefully over here at this, um, this stockpile, they'll get rid of all of the i don't know whether they'll get rid of all of the iron ingots uh the iron ingots are going over here maybe maybe they'll get rid of those they'll certainly get rid of all the uh, the sticks and ah now we can put the wood in here so what do we want we want a default stockpile popped in there and we want this clear all um no i'm just gonna leave it as low priority and material and wood where's wood there's wood awesome sauce okay so are they oh you know what they're, oh i oh i'm showing you this i'm showing you this i've got to show you this so down it they're, they're doing a lot of sorting out so this is uh is just for meals now and they're just sorting everything out uh this side this is for raw food and then it, this is mixed and then up here this is for leather this is for linen cloth and then this is mixed in the middle now, what I'm thinking is the, the beer we'll, we'll put in a room here and this will be our ale cellar. I'm looking forward to getting that done. And then I've even sorted the weapon racks. These weapon racks here are for flawless weapons only. So you can see that uh, this is only flawless. And then this row of weapon racks is set to superior. So superior weapons go there. And then over here, we get fine weapons. 
And then this rack is good quality weapons. And then if we go back to the workshop, I've set the desks up. Uh, that's the wrong way. Where, where is it? Here it is. <laughs> uh, over here, this is set up. Well, hello, Thor's hammer. Oh, we've got lightning strikes coming in. Please don't burn my crops down. Where are the crops? Don't burn the crops down. We've got, we've got, we've got a nice lot of barley out there. Leave my barley alone. Uh, yeah, so over here we're set up to store uh, flimsy and sturdy. And well, hello. And the desks are set up to smelt uh, flimsy and sturdy. All of the desks are set up like that. So if we go over here, this one, dismantle, uh, flimsy and sturdy. So everybody is going to be wearing and using good or better items. Uh, eventually. Eventually. Now, I did want to change this. Because over here is where they pick up food. They pick up their beer. And that's awesome. And the beer pile is big enough for everybody. This food pile, though, this is only 10 lavish meals. And there are 11 of them. So I was thinking we should put a shelf unit in there. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to grab a shelf unit. Where are you? Where's the shelf? There it is. Uh, we'll put a shelf unit in there. And we'll set that up for uh, for meals only. Okay, what are we going to be doing this in this episode? We're going to be working on the second floor of the keep. And, um, and just generally, like, getting on with stuff. Over here, we've got uh, four more bedrooms being built. Hopefully, they'll be temporary. I mean, hopefully, we won't even need them because I'm, hopefully I'm going to get onto the bedrooms uh, on the next floor. Right, look at this. They're getting on with it. They're moving everything. It's going very well. Look at all the sticks have been placed nicely. Okay, let's... Uh, they, they haven't moved any wood yet. But then they wouldn't because I haven't set this to not store wood. Ha! Ah, let's have a look. Wood. Yeah, don't store wood here, please. So all that should be left is clay. Now, clay. I do want to use clay bricks. Oh, these have grown up. Let's harvest those. I do want to use clay bricks for flooring, like on outside areas, because it actually looks pretty nice. So I think we should probably get a, um, a clay kiln going. Should I get a clay kiln going? Yeah, go on, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's extend this. So, how big? One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't need to really be that big, but you know, I think it'll look better. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, we want that there, that there. Uh, we'll put in a nice wooden floor again, like that. And then we'll throw on a nice roof. Um, where's. Oh, that's. Uh, now, I was looking at using this wicker half roof to um to put in a wood store over here but i decided against it because just because with a keep um you don't want to build structures like this because they could be set on fire or people can climb onto them to to gain access to higher floors or whatever so i'm trying to stick with the realism aspect as much as i can we'll to clay brick making and yeah this will make these really nice clay bricks so we'll unlock that and then we'll go to production and where is it clay Clay, 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 clay kiln. Uh, here we go, the kiln. So, um, there's a clay one or there's a limestone one. Now, limestone is in short supply, so obviously we're going to be using the clay one. So, we'll pop this, I don't know, somewhere in the middle. Probably, uh, yeah, there, yeah, there, that's fine. Okay, so what do we want? Well, we're going to want some clay in here, aren't we? Yeah, 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 that's awesome. So, default stockpile. We'll have clay over here okay so oh, oh man all of this stuff has got moved around apart from those uh limestone bricks don't want those there let's turn off limestone bricks and clay bricks we don't want in there we don't want clay in there anymore uh limestone we don't want limestone in there anymore so we've got silver gold steel gold ingots and coal yeah uh, none of which we've got so that's not a problem yeah, they're moving all of this. Good. How does it look in here now? Because it should look fairly good. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're getting that they're making uh, nice, nice. Well, now they've brought some wooden masks up here. They haven't made those. But look, look at all the iron ingots. Good grief. And making stuff. Our, our racks are full. Look at all the bows we've made. <laughs> awesome. Awesome sauce. 
settlers are exhausted. Yeah, well, they, I've asked them to do an enormous amount of work. Um, all the sticks are sorted out. The wood's being put away. There's the last of the clay going in. And this is then actually cl completely clear. So I tell you what, why don't we just get rid of it? Yeah, boom, it's gone. The castle is tidy. Wow, that is impressive. Looks like they've done pretty much all the hauling in a single day, which is staggering. So I tell you what, now we'll, t we'll set the jobs back. Uh, we'll set the hauling back to two so that they can get on with all the other jobs that they need to be getting on with. Okay, so with that done, we can now get, uh, get on with the castle a little bit. Now, this area over here, I didn't know what to do with this area over here. I had several ideas. I was thinking of um, having a door from the kitchen through here and using it maybe for, to store uh, animal carcasses or uh, I, I, I thought maybe we could have a wood store in here or something. But it was when I came to do this and I thought, you know what? Actually, how about we put the stairs? Because I was going to put the stairs. Um, you can see. That. There we go. I was going to put the stairs here and have the stairs going like a stairwell in this area. But I think this would make a perfect little stairwell. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put in a limestone wall. We're going to have a limestone wall that runs up like that. Yeah. And then what do we want? We want some... Um, we're going to want a door through here, aren't we? Yeah. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that yet, so, so don't worry about it. Uh, what do I want? A limestone stair, which is going to go up like that. Yeah. And then we want a limestone wall in there okay now do i fill this in and i'm thinking i do because i can't think what i could possibly possibly use it for um so yeah i think i'm just gonna fill that in yeah i'm gonna fill that area in we'll fill that one in as well now i just hope that they can do that without doing anything silly we'll see We'll see. Uh, let's um, let's get now. Corpse Hatch is doing tailoring at the moment. Um, I'm thinking we switch him back to construction for a little while. Let's get um, let's get Corpse building that. Okay, so that's li that little area there. We'll uh, we'll obviously bring that up to the next level, uh, which means that this floor can actually be filled in, can't it? Yeah, yes, it can. Okay, what do we want with floor? We want limestone blocks. There we go. Okay. Right. This area out here. Let's let's sort this out. So um, I've decided I am going to put the floors back in. Uh, and it's it's purely for access reasons. So what do we want? We want floor across there. We want floor across there. Uh, that one is in. That one's not in though, is it? Nope. We need floor there. And we need floors across there. So we'll have wooden door there we'll have wooden door there then we'll have limestone are we gonna have, no no this is gonna be yeah this is gonna be these limestone walls um okay so we'll have limestone wall there there and there 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 and there okay what i ideally want is um is a corridor Okay, summer has arrived. Hooray! Summer's a, summer appeared like a warm blessing. I'm thinking we have uh, a wall that comes out like that, a wall that comes out like that. And then we'll have... Uh, do I have a... Yeah. Then we'll have a wall going across there like that. Okay. Now, keeps, windows. Uh, several people have said, oh, you need windows in your keeps. I wasn't going to put any windows on the first two floors. And the reason for that is that, like, a proper keep shouldn't have windows on, like, the lower floors because they're access points and you don't... You want, like, a single point that you can defend. But you do want windows on upper floors so that you can shoot down at people. I'm just wondering, though, whether to put a couple of windows on this floor at the front. Oh, I, I gotta say, I am kind of sort of tempted. But I also want banners on the front. Because banners would look awesome. Actually, if we put windows on the third floor and then had bang banners hanging underneath... Oh, yeah, that would work. 
Uh, I mean, potentially I could split it into three, but we're going to have so much space in this castle. Then what I wanted, let's see, where's the... So that is where the walls are underneath. Okay, so that's one, two, there. Okay, then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to limestone walls for this part. We're going to have this wall going across here. Now, the question is, like, how far? I don't know. It's going to go up there a bit. So that's in two. So this should be on two on this side. A wall going across there. And we'll have a wall going across there. Now, where am I going to want doors and how are we going to sort out rooms and stuff? Um, I'm thinking that we'll have rooms here and rooms on the sides as well so we want to come up to there come across there there and then we'll divide this let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten it would be an odd number wouldn't it uh oh sorry an even number so that i i, I can't evenly divide the rooms so obviously that joins up with that that joins up with that Gives us a, a couple of little little hallway areas where we can maybe do some decorations, maybe put some braziers in. Yeah, I like that. I like that idea. I could. I could make this too wide, um, which would solve my problem here. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that because that, I think, aesthetically will be nicer because these passages are a little bit narrow. I'm, I'm actually tempted to make these too wide as well shall i yeah yeah let's do it let's do it let's make them let's make them too wide up here i think it looks better right so in that case that wall needs to be moved back so what do we want we want limestone walls uh are gonna go across come on there we go across there that means that can be nice and even beautiful then we'll switch to the limestone blocks and then we'll do the same on this side so that comes down to there and then joins up to there right where are we going to put doors now so we've got door there door there um we need a couple of doors into these rooms which i'm thinking it kind of makes sense to have the door opposite so you just go up the stairs and then you're straight in yeah so get rid of that block uh get rid of that block all right let's let them uh, be getting on with this now right so the doors for these rooms I think, how about, oh, come on, how about there and there? Go away, autosave. <laughs> Thank you. And there and there. Right, so now I need to do these rooms on the side, don't I? Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, let's do, maybe have the door into there, there. The door into there. Um, they're all there. Uh, maybe maybe there actually no no in the middle i think in the middle's good yeah well so we'll have the door for that one there we'll have the door for that one there yeah that looks that looks i think that's gonna look nice so we actually want a block there ah uh, no there that's it okay get rid of that block right i think they can get on with it now uh so i've just got to put in like a whole ton of doors now so we want door there door there all there, 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 and all the doors. Okay, so we've got all the doors for that. We ha um, I've put that one in. We've got to remove. Oh, I haven't put that one in. So we want a door there. Once they get rid of that, we'll put a door there. Okay. Uh, that leaves us room to have like we could potentially have another one here. Now, that is going to be sealed up eventually because this is the, the Lord and Lady's private chambers. Oh, we have a new settler. Hunger comes calling. When Guthlaf arrived, his bones were prominent and his hair fell out in clumps. <laughs> Camembert people stared at this wretched, starving soul. Desperation was writ on Guthlaf's face and he pleaded, would you take him in? It depends how good you are. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, we have a serious melee um intellectual uh it likes a bit of mining i uh, you know what i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take him uh, i probably shouldn't 
But I'm going to take him anyway. So, yes. Guthlaf, you're in. Uh, congenial. Oh, we like congenial. He's an early bird. Uh, Lord of Misrule. For some, tricks and buffoonery were a midwinter indulgence. But Guthlaf liked to play jokes all year long. I know who this is going to be. Brawny. Guthlaf is powerful and carries out tough jobs effortlessly. Oh, I know who this is going to be. This is going to be... Honkle Briff. <laughs> You're in the game, Honkle Briff. I've been waiting for somebody good. <laughs> for, for Honkle Briff. So let's reference. So uh, what's his story? Uh, an army marches on its stomach and Honkle Briff knew how to keep the campfires burning and soldiers' bellies full. His mears weren't exactly gourmet, but Honkle Briff was a keen butcher and would fillet the oppos opposition pretty skillfully in retreat. When the world changed, Honkle Briff was deployed undercover for watch for heresy among royalist factions. On receiving no further instruction from his master of whispers, Honkle Briff sought the shadows, using what he heard to survive. <laughs> Oh, yes. The Lord of Misrule. <laughs> Honkabriff is here. He's got a long way to go to get here, though. So let's get uh, let's get Honkabriff set up. So, yeah, you can convalesce. He's going to be absolutely starving, so... Uh, we'll set you on those. Now, let's see. So, research. You can definitely get on to doing some research. We'll have you doing crafting, for sure. Actually, I might drop your research. You do some crafting. That would be really useful. Cooking is culinary 11, but he's, he's not a fan of it. And then mining. So, okay, you can definitely do some mining. We're not going to have you cutting plants or harvesting or any of that stuff. Uh, your construction's mere. So, um, oh, marksman 8. That's nice. Okay, good. Good, good, good. In that case, uh, is that pretty much how I want you set up? Yeah, but for now, that'll do. Uh, manage. We want you set up with uh, a ranged weapon. Uh, no shields. Uh, you can have. Well, you can have. Uh, you can have a helmet. Um, all apparel, yes. All armor, yes. And we're good. Okay, good. Oh, somebody, somebody hasn't. Picture hasn't got clothes. Why haven't you got clothes on, Picture? <laughs> For heaven's sake. So he hasn't got clothes on either. What is going on? We, we. You know what? I know what it is. It's because I've had Corpse doing all of the all the construction, and he hasn't been getting on with the tailoring. Corpse, go back and do some more tailoring. We need some clothes, please, if you wouldn't mind. Right, so, how have we got on? And the answer is... We're done. We're done. We're done. They've done everything. Okay. Well, that is awesome. Uh, we've got a couple of doors that I can put in, so we're going to want a door there and a door there. Perfect. We can put in... Uh, we'll have a limestone wall there. We've got the stairs going up there, so we want a limestone wall there and stairs going up there. And that is that is then done. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have another room here. Yeah, where do, where do I want the door for that? Uh, really doesn't matter. So I tell you what, why don't we just um, why don't we just put it in the middle? Sounds like a plan. So wooden door going in there. Uh, that's that's gone in sideways <laughs> what how how did it do that just try that again. there we go that's better <laughs> well there you go guys we have got the second floor completely done all i've got to do now is uh is put a roof or or the next floor level on essentially but uh, but a roof and then we can uh, put beds in decorate the rooms and then we can start working on the third floor. Oh, I can't wait. Can you? It's going to be awesome. All right. Um, I think, well, I think that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. How are we doing? We um, we really should be doing um, a bit more on the uh, on the gardening front. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get people a bit more focused on this. So just have a quick look at this. Wow, so Sky... Um, you're focused on harvesting the heart of sting and cutting plants and then either construction or growing. You know what? Oh, we've got a third. Oh, oh, we've got a third coming attack coming in. Well, isn't that fun? Have they got, they, they, they'll have, tre have they got trebuchets? Oh, they haven't got trebuchets. Oh, well, that's going to be a very, very easy fight then. Uh, if you want to see that fight, guess what? 
yeah, you got to come back for the next episode. Guys, leave me your comments. Tell me, tell me what you think of the castle and how it's developing. And if you've got any special ideas for things that I could do. And I will catch you for the next episode. Peace out.